Hello everyone, welcome back. So here we are going to discuss uh, about the reduce function in Python. Okay, so we have seen uh, what is filter and what is map. Okay, and why those are needed. Now we are going to discuss why do we need a reduce? Because when you are working with a filter or when you are working with a map, everything working with a sequence of data, each element. But here, reduce, when you are using the reduce, it is going to work with a sequential pairs of value. Okay, in a, in a, sim in a simple words, I have a list of values. Um, the list is equal to, and I have one, two, three, and four. So basically, the reduce function, how it is going to work in this case. For example, I want to sum all the data in the list. So basically, what I'm expecting is here, one plus, two plus, three plus, four. So how the reduce function is going to work? First, it will take the first two parameters. Okay. Then, so one plus two is equal to three. Then it will keep the remaining them. Okay. And then it's considering the first three as a first parameter again, and it will take the these two elements like three plus three. 6 plus and the rest of the elements 4 now it is another pair 6 plus 4 10 so this is the final outcome so at the end of the reduce function it has to return a sum of all the sequence data which is given as an input okay uh, let's do it in a, uh, a simple way and then we'll move on to the how it is going to work in the lambda function okay so just Understand one thing, filter and map working in a sequence of data one by one. But in the reduce, it will take the pair values. It will take the pair value, it will do the process and take that outcome as a first parameter again. And then add it into the next element. Okay, let's apply that in uh, some real scenarios. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, uh, I have a, okay, let's have a sequence of data numbers or else let's copy this one okay so I have a sequence of number so what I'm going to perform here I have a method which will do the summation to sum so it will take two variables x comma y and return x plus y so now what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the reduce function but and but before that when you are going to use the reduce you need to know from where we need to use the reduce because it won't be available in our default packages you need to import it from other package so it has to come from the function tools and from function tools it has to come from the reduce package so like an i'm going to import it from function tools tools import reduce okay now we have the reduce functionality available so I'm going to use a reduce oh, okay reduce the first parameter is always a function so do the sum and then the sequence of value numbers and I'm taking this outcome as a result and print the result okay so let's see first it will come to this place it will it will it will take the next sequence of number the first time it will take one and two so the one and two goes to this method one comma two and one plus two is equal to three and then three becomes the first element here then 
10 x to 3 plus 3. So 3 plus 3 is 6 and 6 becomes the first and 6 plus 4. It will do up to the end of the elements. So what we are expecting here, the sum of all the values here, 1 plus 1, start from 1 to 10. Okay. Let's print. See, the sum is 55. Okay, 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 3, 6, 6 plus 4, 10, 10, 15, and 21, 28, 36, and 59, and 55. Okay, so 55 is the sum of all the numbers here. Okay, let's do the same thing with the help of lambda function. Okay, so I'm going to have another variable called result 1 is equal to I'm going to use a reduce again here. The first, the keyword lambda. So let's open another bracket here so it will be clear. Lambda and the variables, I mean the arguments and the expressions to the argument x plus y and the sequence of data. So let's print them. Result 1. So the outcome has to be the same. But how we are manipulating the data, that is a different here. Just right click and run in Python. See, 55. And again, the 55. Okay. So the first thing. You need to understand about the reduce functionality. It will take the sequence of data as a pair values. It will take one pair and it will do some process and take that as a first parameter again and put it in the list again and again take the first value and the second value and process it and again taking the first and second. It it's keep doing that up till the end, up to the last element. Okay, you can use it as a normal function also you can use it as a reduce as a lambda function with the help of a lambda function also but one thing which you need to keep it in mind the reduce which is not available in a default package so you need to import it from function tools okay so again the same thing try with this different combination and get to know the different things in the reduce functionalities because once you get the hands-on experience it will be easy to understand the even deeper concepts okay um, let's meet each other in the next video thank you